Hello everyone, it's Rod. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Rod Kotarot, and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and uh, Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading for March 18th to March 24th, uh, 2019. Now, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again, guys, that this is going to be a, a general reading for Pisces, uh, for Pisces star sign. Whoops, one second. Kind of like they faced each other. Anyway, I'm going to repeat the refill. So <clears throat> that is going to be uh, the general reading for Pisces star sign. And uh, for that reason, this reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with uh, every single different Pisces. So if you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by Mitchell Taro, uh, then that is a subject of a, a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as uh, their pricing, <clears throat> which are starting, by the way, from just $12. And for a reason that I decided to keep the promotions for the month of March as well. So that being said, going to the general reading for Pisces, the first card which displays the topic of your week, guys, that is going to be the Queen of Swords, followed by the second one, which is the negative approach toward the situation and the negative approach toward the Queen of Swords, that is to be the Three of Cups, followed by the third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation here, toward the topic that is going to be the Four of Wands, and the last one, that is the final outcome of growth. Should you follow the guidance of Taro, we do have the Hanged Man. So once again, Queen of Swords, uh, Three of Cups, then it is the Four of Wands, and the last one that is going to be the um, Hanged Man. So for what it seems, Pisces, this week you are going to uh, receive professional help regarding your issues, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. Uh, now, this card here, the Queen of Swords, does point that the topic of your week is going to be this person, most likely a woman, older than you are, very assertive and, and, and emancipating. Now, this woman, most likely, it could be as well a male, very well know what you're going through because they have been there more than once. It is basically they do, that person does have the necessary experience. So that could be a mentor into your career, someone who is helping you with projects, telling you what to do and you, what, what you need to do is just follow their lead. It could be, uh, it is very possible, in fact, to be your medical doctor as well, telling you accurate treatment that you got to exert in order to improve your health issues and so on and so forth. The thing with this woman or with this person is that even if the methods of that person are seeming very drastic and, and very extreme, they do breed results. The, this person knows how to push the things through. In this case, as your topic, this person knows how to push your things through. Once again, it is because they have a massive experience in that nature in either the field of your, for example, health issue, relationship, because that could be your, um, you know, advisor, relationship advisor, it could be your business advisor as well, and so on and so forth. The thing is that this person is going to tell you how you can, you know, push your things through, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. The accompanied card here, that is going to be the Four of Swords, the formation that we do have, these are a active neutrals and the, the active supporters, excuse me. And definitely what we're talking about here is re-adopting new strategy, taking things from a different angle, from a different perspective, perspective, avoiding the current issues. So the way I see the situation is that from a, a point where you're trying to resolve either the project or the things into your relationship or just to further your things through, there are too many obstacles which you don't have to overcome because there are better way how you can tackle with the issue or how you can take on the opportunity and so on and so forth. It just is going to require, you know, this... Um, this experience that that person has and to follow their lead through the drastic actions that they are going to advise you to take. Again, this is in an advice. It is not that you are going to be put with uh, a gun on your head and being uh, succumbed to do them. Uh, it is an advice because of the Four of Swords. 
meaning that this is going to be a, a very fruitful conversation in between you two. That person is a very faithful companion of yours. So it's someone that you do have a history with and so on and so forth. And together you truly are going to reach to the root of the matter and with cumulative efforts, mental efforts that is, definitely you are going to define what kind of an actions should be taken from now on regarding career-wise or regarding relationship-wise as well. Which are leading us to, oh, oh, one more thing to say here as well, when you cooperate with that person or you associate yourself with that person, then it's um, a lot of problems that you currently have are simply going to lose their relevance. They are going to not vanish. Well, they will vanish, but they will not disappear. What I mean is that you are going to be granted a, a time to rest and a time to uh, rethink and again, change your strategy in a way that you can cope with those issues and problems in a much uh, simple and, and easier fashion. Which leads us to the next card. That is the Tree of Cups. And this card refers to seeking a second opinion. So, uh, and that is the negative approach toward the situation. So let's say that you are going to a medical doctor for a health issue, that doctor tells you something that you gotta do, a treatment, diet, lifestyle that you have to follow and so on and so forth. And you don't believe them and you go to a, a second opinion. While it is good, to seek for second opinions. The Tree of Cups here points that everybody is gonna have different opinion for every single thing. Uh, the opinion, uh, in this in this specific reading, I would say that the, the one's opinion is just like one's butt. Everybody has it, you know, but it doesn't have to be yours, you know? So my point here with the Tree of uh, Cups is that there is only one person who can truly tell you what the right approach is <clears throat> and not everybody else. Therefore, you need to uh, constrain your vision just in the framework of cooperating with this uh, person. If I have to define it, that is a, a very well-oriented one. They very well know what they want. They very well know uh, how they are going to get there and they are very, very confident, okay? So people who are saying, well, I think, you know, that you got to do this because, um, you know, it is just what seems plausible to me, seems and I think are not the words that you should go by with. I know that you gotta do this because that and that is gonna happen. You know, confidence it is what breeds from this person that I'm talking about, which is going to give you, the present you with the way how to push your things through. Everything else, it is just sharing a vision, sharing a, um, a, a, an opinion, which unfortunately in this case is only going to delay you here with the Three of Cups. Additionally to that, um, the connection in between you and that person, even though you may find yourself a good friends with one another, according uh, or not according, but regarding this endeavor should stay completely professional. It depends how it manifests, but yeah, it should stay completely, completely professional, meaning that even if they are a good friend of yours, they will not be shy to criticize you in any way and they will not be shy to shy to point your errors and your mistakes and to tell you how to correct them with a, a very straight fashion, meaning no sugar coating whatsoever. Those who sugar coat are not those uh, that you have to follow throughout the week and there are not those who are going to present you with a resolution to your issues. Uh, the accompanied card, this is going to be the Eight of Cups and the formation here is Passive Supporters. So the Eight of Cups here, it is pointing that, <clears throat> well, it's, it's a very broad interpretation here, guys, but you may kind of like <clears throat> find yourself misunderstood or poignant in a sense that not many people are going to understand you or not many people are going to see your points of view or the cumulative points of view, points of view you do have with this person, business advisor, medical doctor, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> so <clears throat> with the Eight of Cups here, it will be best if you as well situate yourself or situate your boundaries, keeping your friends only in the friendship zone and keeping the professionalist into the professional zone as well. Uh, and uh, if that is about you doing business with a friend, 
business should, the business should not mix itself with the friendship emotions while you are of good friends you know business is business what we do say into our country is uh, sorted um, well I don't know how to translate it really in English well, one second guys um, well clear settlements good friends meaning that you should not own to each other anything that is that is the point of this uh, of this sentence so uh this is how you're going to discern the matter and this is how you need to not to um not to approach it um once again in a sense of that you go to somebody a medical doctor they define your diagnosis they gave you the treatment and you say okay that that looks good you know but i'm going to ask for a second opinion you go to a second one they tell you something completely different then you go to a third one they tell you even something more different than what you heard from the from uh, the first two and at the end of the day you just you know you don't know what to do so you have to just trust one who looks very very professional who exerts once again confidence and it seems that they definitely know what they're speaking uh, what they're speaking about you know and proceed with uh, their prescription proceed with their recipe for how you can push the things through uh, then uh, what the next card is for you Pisces that is going to be the four of uh, wands and the Four of Wands is about, uh, in this specific case, it's about first finalizing an important cycle of that endeavor, so mean, meaning reaching a milestone. And in this particular case, your milestone is defining who you're going to work with, either a medical doctor, business advisor, you know, friend, family, person that you're going to be in a relationship. It's just you got to make up your mind. Additionally to that, the Four of Wands asks you to really pay attention to the important matters there. As with this card here, it does look like that many things you are overlooking and that person itself is going to make you aware of what you are overlooking and how you need to attend to that thing. Uh, to me, really, guys, it does look like, especially for those who are just starting a new job, it seems apprenticeship, that uh, someone is going to basically hold your hand, which there is nothing wrong with that, you know, and truly going to pass to you the tricks of the trade how to be successful in this uh, in this career or in this field in general same could be about relationship you know someone could try to give you um, you know some experience how to date a specific type of people that is just an example but yeah with the four of cup with the four of wands here that person definitely is going to make you aware what you're doing wrong or what you are missing along the way to be successful Unfortunately, they're going to do it in a bit of a rough fashion in the sense of that there won't be any sugar coating. You may be touched emotionally from uh, their approach, but that is not going to make it less true. So with the four of wands as an, aim, as an aiming to finalize an important cycle of development means that you have to start attending to those important details. And additionally to that, this card is saying have fun it's just you know try to celebrate as much as you can throughout this week associate yourself with uh with exhilarating people you know spend time with friends but this carefree time not a very serious one that you will do have with this specific guy or a girl but just you know a cup a, a couple of uh, of glasses of wine or or a beverage you know a, a, a hub of beers and so on and so forth just so you can relax and you can um, well, how can I place it? Liberate yourself from some intellectual burdens that you have collected along the way. So let's say you deliberated upon uh, some sort of a, a way out and it was really stressful to find and to, to structure the strategy for it. And at the end of the day, you just need a time to relax. So this is what the four of ones here is, uh, is telling you to do. Don't spare time or rather like yeah spare additional time you know to relax to take a break and to associate yourself with exhilarating people that are exerting happiness in your life and additionally to that we do have the queen of uh, wands here the formation of these cards is uh, active supporters <clears throat> 
And basically what these cards are pointing, it's, it's another confirmation of enjoying life just as life is. But as well, I do believe that one of the biggest um, uh, illusions here or other, like things that eludes you are the human nature. And that person is going to make you more acute with the assessment of what the human nature is as well uh, with following the advices or rather like the recipe of that person manifesting itself which is your topic the queen of swords you will become much more successful into your business and you will start attracting more and more people talking about romantically wise you know if you follow their advice uh, now that I think, you know, that could be, for example, you share with uh, a, a player that it is a friend of yours that, you know, you're single for a quite a while and you don't know what to do. So she tells you, for example, well, you got to dress better, you know, you got to buy this kind of perfume and you got to you got to visit these kind of places because there are many free people there and so on and so forth. And as you follow that advice, you're going to find out that you are quite attractive and that many people are attracted to you. It just comes to that, guys, to consolidate uh, your situation upon the advice that that person is giving to you. Same thing goes regarding a uh, career as well. You know, that person uh, tells you, uh, I would say where you suck, you know, or what you're not performing well and how you can improve yourself. And as soon as you take on that advice and start shaping your skills into that direction, you are to see that you can perform very well into your business environment. And as well, you are to develop a leadership, leadership skill or skill, uh, skills on top of it. So uh, the way, just before we go to the last card here, the way that I see this reading is that you're going to receive an intellectual help or intellectual direction from someone who is very experienced in the field that you struggle. You may not like what you're going to hear, but that doesn't make it less true, okay? And it all comes to that, can you trust on the assessment of this very assertive, very experienced and very emancipating person, or you will try to convince yourself that there is another way out or another way through, should I say that way. And so the last card here, that is going to be the um, hangman, which is the final outcome of growth for you, Pisces. So hangman is about the test of faith. That is the... Um, as, a, as an outcome of growth, that is the, uh, the virtue of the card. Test of faith, being tested. Do you deserve something or do you not deserve something? Are you so proud not to follow the guidance of someone who is already been there and who has so much experience into that field? Or you can put your pride on the shelf and show that you are ready to do whatever it takes meaning in this case to follow someone else's advice in order to achieve your goal. Should you do so? Uh, the hangman points that you are to embark the world from a very, very different angle and from a very, very different perspective. Embarking the world in a very different perspective, per, 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 perspective, seeing the things from a different angle will open you a lot of doors and is going to make dead end situations that you are experiencing at this very moment completely, completely irrelevant. Following this example, you're single for a quite a while and you can't find a way to attract somebody. This person gives you that, um, that these advices. You follow those advices, finding yourself that you are very attractive, contrary to what you thought before. There you go. You have triversion into your uh, understanding and your uh, perception in general. And, uh, a different, and you get now different take upon the world, you know, and that will make you act differently to the environment as well. Unblocking your uh, dead end situation of not being with someone. But all that it needs, the, all that it is needed here is just to listen to those who has bigger experience than you do. That also relates to consulting yourself with lawyer. You know, the lawyer can tell you one thing and how you got to do it. You may not be agree with them, but that doesn't mean that what they tell you is not true. So just have trust into those, into those who does have professional experience into the field that you are struggling at. The accompanied card here that is going to be uh, the Emperor. The formation is uh, Passive Enemies. 
And uh, with, with this formation, it looks like that you are going to lose, in a sense of that losing the news over your neck regarding your surroundings, much more exhilarating in happy times, you know, much more carefree situations as well, uh, a quite a detachment of the seriousness of the situations. Now things are going to look much brighter, much lighter as well, with not much of a responsibilities that are going to basically step on your chest and stifle you, suffocate you under the pressure of timeline, deadlines and so on and so forth. And all that, it is because you will find that you are capable and it all that it took is someone to point you the direction towards your capabilities. You gotta listen to that person coming in the very first couple of days or maybe three days of the week because they definitely know what you need. They know how you can get there. It All that it takes from you is to follow their guidance. This that, That's all. And at the end of the, the week, like I said, you are to find yourself seeing the world in a very, very different perspective, guys, seeing the world with much more options available than ever before. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly tarot reading March 18th to March 24th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. Once again, that was a general reading for Pisces star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different Pisces. If you want more personal touch, however, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards, just like I did for the few examples in this video, then uh, you can go to my website and uh, on the very first page, you're going to see all the list of all the services that I'm providing as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12. Uh, that is for reason that I uh, kept, I decided to keep uh, the uh, promotions for the month of March as well. Rat signing out now. See you around. Bye.